everybody. This is it. We're reaching the end of 2019. The end of the year. The end of the decade. And it really makes you wonder how much has happened these past 10 years. How much has happened, how much we have experienced, how much we've grown, how much we've done, how much we haven't done. And of course by that I'm referring to myself since over a year ago I've said I would be posting some new content and I still haven't done that. And I kind of like to give you a little insight as to why. First of all my apologies for the lighting. I have no a light setting around here. I only have the light on the ceiling, which is just horrible to look at when you're looking at it from this angle, but either way, I already had some ideas of working on new videos. I was drawing them out, I had my new editing software ready, I was kind of ready to pick up the pace, but slowly but surely I started to realize something very important. A question that has been bugging me for quite some time and that I haven't had the decency or the guts to properly reflect upon myself for these past few years and to ask myself some of the most important questions we all have to face in our lives. What is my motivation for the day? What gets me out of bed in the morning? Is what I'm doing really what I want to do? Is what I'm doing something that makes me happy or joyful? And I have discovered I haven't been. I haven't been for quite some time and it might be a bit rough to just drop this on you guys all of a sudden but I figured I'd owe you guys this much after a year of no content. To give you guys an honest opinion of what has been going on with me personally. And as you can probably see, things have changed quite a bit. That's mostly because the question I was just talking about, about what makes you happy, or what is your drive to get up in the morning, has catched up on me a few months ago. And it didn't quite leave me in a positive state of mind. To put it that way. Since then I've been wondering to myself almost every single day, what can I do to change this? How can I set the wheels in motion to a better and more positive uh, life and state of mind that I'm currently in? So I finally started to go and see a psychologist. I've been reaching out to get help. And I'm quite happy that the first steps have been made in trying to turn my life around for the better. But major changes like that take time. So, yeah. That's also why I've decided to put my current projects on hold or just end them all together which is mostly where part of the title of this video comes from. Because the last few months I've also been wondering with the whole COPPA Act that's uh, gonna initiate uh, next month about the line of content I'm, I want to create. Is this the line I want to continue on? Or do I want to start fresh with something new? Maybe more musical covers or a bit more professional fan dubbing? And if the answer is yes, I don't think this is the right channel to continue that on. So yeah, I will probably continue with more vocal work, but that would probably be on another channel. I might post some other minor stuff on here just to inform you guys about the other channel or other fun bits that I've created that will put, I will put on here, but one thing I've learned from last year is that I shouldn't put a certain time period on it of when that would be ready. It would be a month from now, six months from now, a year from now. I'm currently so caught up with other things that's go that are going on with my life 
that this is not my main focus at the moment to keep creating videos so yeah I wish I would have had a more positive note for you but I'm just telling you guys as it is the whole honest story about what has been going on up until up until this moment I just wanted to let you guys know I'm doing a bit better I'm starting to figure out for myself where I want to go within the next f five years just so I could have a proper and better future for myself and I know that I'm the one that has to set that in motion but it's nice to have help in in creating your own path to happiness to peace to joy and that's something I'm hoping for all you guys because by the time I'm recording this uh, it's 24 hours before Christmas Eve so if there's one Christmas present I want to give to all of you is I hope you all have wonderful holidays a fantastic new year and my best wishes to you all thank you for sticking with me through all of these years you guys are the best I'm wishing you nothing else but joy and happiness and laughter for the holidays and for next year which is going to be amazing and for many years to come so thank you guys very much from the bottom of my heart and I'll see you guys later. Peace.